Hello viewers, a very uh, good evening to all of you. And in this video, I shall try to give you an overview of UGC NTA NET paper one that is common for all that paper's syllabus. And if you do not pass in this paper one, then in the paper two or in your own respective subject paper, if you get 200 out of 200, then too you will be failed. That's why it is a prerequisite to qualify for NAP. Okay, that's why you should know extensively about the paper one, what kind of uh, things are included, what kinds of contents are given in the paper one for the NAP. Okay, this paper one is applicable for all, except I think uh, uh, science stream, maybe, I am not sure, but commerce and arts, this will be applicable to all the sub subjects related to commerce and arts. And it may be related to science, I don't know, as science NAP exam is not conducted by UGC or NDA. That is conducted by uh, maybe CSIR. I'm not sure about it. You should do a simple Google search or you can uh, watch some videos available in the YouTube. So let's dive in into the uh, syllabus of NAP paper one. Okay. In NAP paper one, there will be 100 marks. And for 100 marks, 50 questions will be there, multiple choice. And each question will carry two marks. That's right. You have to be very careful. Okay. And apart from that, uh, till now, there were no negative marks. So I cannot tell you uh, whether that will be applicable for uh, this year. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, so paper one subject name is general paper on teaching and research aptitude. So the main objective is to assess the teaching and research capabilities of the candidates. Therefore, the test is aimed at assessing the teaching and general research aptitude as well as their awareness. They are expected to possess and exhibit cognitive abilities. Cognitive abilities include comprehension, analysis, evaluation, understanding the structure of the arguments and deductive and inductive reasoning. The candidates are also expected to have a general awareness and knowledge of sources of information. They should be aware of interaction between people, environment, environment and natural resources and their impact on quality of life. The details are given in the following sections. So the syllabus has been discussed in detail. So we will now dive into that. It will encompass various issues, though it uh, seems very brief paper or very short paper, but it has uh, immense weightage for the NET exam. Here, uh, a note is given. Each section gets equal weightage. Five questions and 10 marks from each section will be given. And note two. Whenever pictorial questions are set for the cited candidates, a passage followed by equal number of questions should be set for the visually handicapped candidates. Number one is teaching aptitude. From here, 10 marks will come. Means from each section, 10 marks will come and it, it must come. Okay. Teaching nature, objectives, characteristics, and basic requirements. This kind of thing you have to read. Learners' characteristics, factors affecting teaching, method of teaching, teaching aids, and evaluation system. Number two, it is research aptitude. It, it includes research meaning, characteristics, and types. Steps of research, methods of research, research ethics, paper, article, workshop, seminar, conference, and symposium. And thesis writing, its characteristic and format. This thing you have to deeply study. For that, I suggest you to uh, go through the last year papers of NET paper one. Got it? From here to 10 marks will come. Then number three section. Here only reading comprehension will come. There will be passes. Okay, unseen passes, and from that pass from that passes, you have to answer the question. It will not be uh, hard, but it is not so simple. Also, you have to read that thing very carefully. Got it? Then from here to ten marks will come. Then we have number four section communication. Here communication, nature, characteristics, types, barriers, and effective classroom communication. This kind of thing you have to read. For that, you must buy a guidebook that will help you. Then number five section, and from communication to 10 mark will come. Then uh, from section five here, here to 10 mark, 10 mark will come. So total, uh, total you will get 100 mark. Reasoning, including mathematical, mathematical question will to come. That is number series, letter series, quotes, relationships, classification, that kind of thing you have to read, study, explore. Number six section, logical reasoning will come. Understanding the structure of arguments, that kind of thing. Evaluating and distinguishing deductive and inductive reasoning, verbal analogies, Word analogy, applied analogy, verbal classification, reasoning, logical diagram, simple diagrammatic relationship, multi-diagrammatic relationship, Venn diagram, analytical reasoning. So it is a very comprehensive section. You have to deeply study. Then only things will be clear for you. Understand? Then number uh, seven, it will be a li little bit of uh, mathematical. 
data interpretation sources, acquisition and interpretation of data, quantitative and qualitative data, graphical representation and mapping of data. So this thing you have to go through. Here, by merely read, reading this or knowing this syllabus won't help you. You have to go through last paper, then only you will get to know what kind of questions come from data interpretation, what kind of preparation you have to do for this particular section. Got it? Then number eight, information and communication technology, that is ICT, its meaning, advantages, disadvantages and uses, then general abbreviations and terminology, then basics of internet and emailing, this, this kind of thing you will be asked. Number nine, people and environment. Here questions will come from people and environment and interaction, sources of pollution, pollutants and their impact on human life, exploration of natural and energy resources, natural hazards and mitigation. This thing you have to go through. It is to a uh, very vast content. Then last, okay, last uh, questions will come from higher education system, governance, polity and administration, structure of the institutions for higher learning and research in India, formal and distance education, professional, technical and general education, value education, governance, polity and administration, concept, institutions and their interaction. So it, it is too very extensive. You have to prepare in a very well manner. You just uh, can't go and sit in the exam just by uh, going through this syllabus. This syllabus will only help you if you follow the last year paper. Otherwise, it will be futile for you. Okay. That's it. The syllabus is ended here. So 100 marks will come and uh, 50 questions will come. Each question will carry two marks and from each section, 10 marks will come. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's it. Then sample question. Let's see some sample question. Here I will just scroll through the PDF. I don't want to read this whole thing. Okay. Here you can just uh, read this thing or I will or I can uh, scroll this for your own uh, help. Here I will just scroll. It means what kind of questions will come in the exam here from the teaching aptitude this kind of question you can expect this is just a sample and model question then like this this from resource aptitude this kind of question will come look look take a look now you it will be better for you if you buy the guidebook there are many guide guidebooks available in various websites shopping websites or in the bookstore you go and check it check it out and this kind of re reading comprehension will come look And from communication question will come like this. Got it? Like this, I'm saying. Okay, you don't expect that this kind of question will come. You must go go to last year paper. Reasoning, look, this kind of thing. Then logical reasoning, check it out. This thing will come. This kind of. Okay. Then our data interpretation, look, this kind of thing will come. Then information and communication te technology, take a look. Huh? People and environment, look, they did this kind of thing. Huh? I, I, I don't know why, why I'm saying haha. Thank you. So, sorry for that. This is higher education system. This kind of question will come. Which of the following is a central university? Like this. Okay. So you have to do a very thorough research. If you think that there, there is no ne negative mark. So I will just go and sit. Then I just want to really rely on luck. Then you will be not be qualified. Uh, if your luck is good, then you may or you can, but not all the time. And in Hindi, the question will come and there will be stipulated time and in that time period, you have to go to. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.